What would it be worth to you if you could retain your clients for 37 years? Not just for one visit or one year or two years, but for 37 years. I was with my hairdresser today, hence uh, the hair looks a little bit more styled than normally. Uh, I was with the hairdresser today and he's done just that. He has been in business for 37 years and he's got clients that have been with him for 37 years. And not just one or two, he's got 50. 50 clients have been with him for his whole career. Now, as business owners, business leaders, as entrepreneurs, it's quite clear that one of the most expensive things that we can do in our business is to recruit clients. You know, the cost of acquiring a client can sometimes be quite expensive. It can take a bit of cash flow to lay out before we get the return. So wouldn't it be amazing if we could maximize the lifetime value of that client? It would be amazing if we could keep them for 37 years. Now, I want to get some insights from the hairdresser because he's not necessarily someone who's been trained in business or skilled in business. I asked him what marketing he does and the extent of it. He's picked a good location. He's right near a busy supermarket with lots of foot traffic. Um, and he's got like some um, advertising in the window to say that he's a hairdresser. That's about the extent of it. And he's registered on Google Maps. So if you type his name in Google, it would come over. But that's the law. And so outside of that, how does he attract these clients and how does he retain them? Well, mostly it's word of mouth. Okay, because of, I think, three key things that he could identify to me. Okay, number one is he gets results. The first thing you do when you go in there, he asks you what you want and he actually delivers it to you. That doesn't happen in every hairdresser you go to. I've lost count of the number of hairdressers that I've been to who you ask for one thing and you come up with something totally different. They do it their style or their way. So he listens and he delivers the results that the client wants, okay? So number one is results. I think number two that he identified was respect. He really got that even though he's busy, he could keep his clients waiting in the waiting room whilst he does the next client, and then maybe five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes. He said he makes a point of being on time, and if he's not gonna be on time, he gives advance notice to that client so they can go and do something else in the meanwhile. Now, he thinks it's really important because he realizes that if the client isn't, uh, isn't out of the hair salon in time, it may mean that they can't pick up their kids or it's costing them work because they can't be with their client or whatever the reason is. So he respects their time. And I think that's, that comes into part three as well. Part three of what helps him really keep such great retention is relationships. He's very good at building the relationships. He asks questions of the clients, he listens, he remembers their name, their partner's name, their family name, or what's going on for them and what's happening, and he can ask about it next time. You think it's kind of remarkable if he's seeing, I don't know how many people he's seeing a day, 10, 12 people a day, and he's remembering all of those things. But he must have a system for remembering that and actually being emotionally connected to them. Now, this relationship goes a little bit above and beyond because uh, some of his clients now, as you would guess, are, are probably a little bit older. I mean, since they've been with him for 37 years. Uh, so he is very keenly aware of what's going on for them. If they walk in with a frame or a walking stick, then he makes sure he raises the chair up so it's easy for them to sit down or um, likewise, or raises the chair down so it's easy for them to get up, whatever the case may be. And for some of them, he goes out of his way and gives his own time for free to go around and help them do the shopping. Now, that doesn't, that's not necessarily something that you're gonna go and do as a scalable thing. You can't do that for all of your customers, but how much is that gonna build a relationship if you're doing something sincere and genuine for them? So anyway, what can we learn from uh, Rick the hairdresser? It's the three R's, is number one, results. Ask the customer what they want and give them what it is that they want. Number two is have respect for them and their time. Uh, what goes on for them outside of their time with you is super important. And then number three is build that relationship. So what are the uh, things that you can do today to build that retention, to keep your clients for longer? If you can do that, you're going to save yourself an absolute fortune in marketing. You can get a heap more clients via word of mouth and referrals. Uh, and life is generally gonna be a lot easier because you're gonna know these customers have a great relationship with them. Okay, that's it for me. That's tip 45. Have yourself a great day, and I'll be back tomorrow with tip number 46.